Hey guys, it's Jada on piano, and I want to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to be talking about some drop twos. I want to do the song Rock of Ages, and I'm going to be playing a click track with it just to see how it works out today. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to be in the key of F. We know that key. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so that was me playing that song real quick. Um, and yes, I did make the click track, but it's one of the ones I use for church. But anyway, um, I wanted to talk about drop twos. And so better, what better way than to use a song? Now, as I said before, I'm in the key of F. And so the first thing that I want you to know about drop twos, because a lot of people get confused at how you're using it or what it is. So first off, let's talk about what it is. In its simplest form, let's let's play this chord right here. That's the F chord, that's the one chord in F. A drop two means you're taking the note that's at the top of the chord, or sorry, the second note, second note drop two from the top of the chord, and you're putting it in the bottom. So where's the top of the chord? Top meaning to the right, uh, bottom meaning to the left. So top of the chord is the C. What's the second note? This one right here. So that means I would take this note out and drop it all the way down an octave. That's what we would have right there. Now when I was playing this, that's exactly the first chord that I started on. So in triad form, because that's a lot of what I used as far as drop twos, because I didn't want to um, be overwhelming while I'm trying to explain this. So if we remember our triads, here we go. Um, and then, so let me put all the drop twos for this key. Watch this. That's the one chord. That's the two chord. That would be the three chord. Um, four would be this one notice how I stayed on that note because well that's an inversion but I'm on this chord so if I pulled this out this would be down here but since I'm on the D and I'm pulling it out there it is as you can see an inversion um, the this one if we pulled this out and we have See, I'm actually having to use inversions for these so I can keep that what would be the root right in the in the base. And then if I was on the F this time, see that? So when I was here, 
There we go. There's that. That these are the root right here. I already got into the inversions. There's it. Now let me go into the inversions. Here's first inversion. Sorry. Uh, that's first inversion. And then is that the first inversion? I guess I'm changing inversions as I'm going. And that would be back to root. So if I did inversions, um, it's kind of hard to do inversions all at the same time. First inversion here. Ooh, let's try it again. Four, the five, this is the five in first inversion, sorry y'all. Um, six, and then here is the first inversion. And then back to there. Now, here's the second inversion. One chord, two chord, three chord, four chord, five chord, six chord, uh, the seven, and then back to the one. So, as you can see, if you're not keeping track of where you're at, you're gonna get lost quick. That was root for the F chord. That was the first inversion for the F chord. That was second inversion for the F chord. So what does all of that mean? Basically, once again, how am I thinking of this? When I'm using the number system, I'm essentially using my melody note to tell me which inversion I'm gonna use. So for the most part, when I start at the very beginning, here's this first phrase. Sorry. That's what I did at the beginning. Now. That's the first inversion, so my melody. What did I do? Well, I took the first inversion, and then here's my next note, and so I took the two chord, or I could take the four chord, watch. Same thing. I could use that too, because both of them have that D in it, but I just chose to go here for a little bit more dramatic effect right then four and then I use the another inversion right there still four back to one so if I was gonna play that without drop twos um, I went one four one how is it again I used a lot of ones and a lot of four so one Four, one, one, four, four, one. There we go for that second time. Let's move with it every time. That would be more accurate of what I did, but you hear how full that sounds. So a drop two can give you a more open sound. Here's the difference. Or if I did that like I did it, let me see. Something like that. But this opens it up. And then I put a flip in there. Uh, this note is not in the key, but I just used it as a grace note. Uh, right? You could technically use either one. You're not dwelling on that note. Then I went here. Here's the drop two for that, right? And essentially, while I'm talking about it, this is me, instead of just using the two, this is the two, I uh, substituted the two for its minor form, essentially, which would be diminished. And so, I went six, and then, and the minor form, it would still go here. That's what you would expect. Or something like this. Whatever. But I just substituted just that two chord. So I'm in six. 
and then I substituted the two for this form thought an F minor real quick right back to my F major and then uh, thought in C for just a split second here G major leads my to my C something like that so you saw me use three different G chords in all that moment um, I used the two here that would be two and then by the time I got over here I'd already substituted for that um, minor key two and went right back to uh, F major and then immediately went to the dominant uh, chord on the G so now this is more acting like the five of C and that's where I went something like that so here's the thing drop twos they can give you that open sound but you're not changing the I don't want to say harmony but you're not changing what you would already be doing with the song so I'm still playing that much of the song so So, you know, you're using the same progressions even if you're just using the drop twos. I could actually was able to make the song a lot simpler just using the drop two to give it that more open feel, um, a little bit more airiness, openness, instead of being full. Sometimes you want to be open instead of full with what you're playing. So a drop two may be a better choice even if it's not the whole phrase. So let's let's try this. We're full here. And then what if I just want to do the drop two right here? And then uh, So as you can see, I did both right in that section but basically what I'm saying for drop twos in a real basic sense I don't want to take too long with this opens up some space the basic thing to know is you're taking the note from the top if I were to take a seventh chord um, in that same way second note from the top would be let's bring it up let's take this out because it's this note and drop it down here see that so I don't want to get in sevenths too much this video but that would be what a seventh is anyway like i said that was the um uh, drop to you know kind of get you a beginner understanding of what you're doing with the drop two chords you're not changing the harmonies you're just changing how you're voicing those harmonies to give it a different color different feel to the song so um again if you like this type of stuff this type let me know if you like me using tracks to play um if you like this kind of content also, if you're looking for more information on the play by ear, check out my channel, uh, jadaonpiano.com. My playing by ear course is out, and you can check that out there. So take care. Have a blessed day.